beautiful people welcome back to my channel in today's video i decided to share with you guys a study in poland series so if you're interested sit back and let's talk about the cost of living as an international student in poland and also one more thing please do watch this video without skipping anything so that there's no miscommunication between us so yeah let's get started let's start with the accommodation According to the accommodations, there are two preferred choices between students in Poland. The first one is the student dormitory provided by the university and the second one is private housing or private accommodation, whatever you call it. Talking about the student dormitories provided by the universities, the rent vary depending on the city and the university. The minimum could be around 400 zlotys per month to up to 700 slotties this will vary but yeah you can check with your universities pricing for the private accommodations vary depending on the city you're studying in for example the bigger the city the higher the price the smaller the city the lower the price so make sure you guys do a research before you choose your options because if you're lucky enough, you might just need to pay around 500 or 600 zloty for your private space. Okay, now the question would be what kind of accommodation should I choose? My suggestion towards that question would be to go for the student accommodation provided by the university rather than going for the private accommodation for the first six months. So after the six months period, you will get an idea about the city, where you want to live and what kind of accommodation you really want and maybe you can move in with your friends so it's better to move in to a private accommodation after the six months period the next in my list is food and grocery the food which i'm talking about is the food that you would eat outside and the grocery is the normal raw materials that you would require to cook your food i do my groceries weekly once so it would cost me minimum 50 zlotys to up to 70 zlotys per week for my groceries and this would totally vary depending on what kind of cook you are if you barely cook then you wouldn't require those groceries and uh, if you are an average cook like me then you would require this much amount per week if you are a weekly shopper yeah and yeah the expense might go up if you haven't brought your normal home spices from your homeland so yeah if you want to get them in poland things are going to get a bit expensive and if you want to know the things that you need to bring to poland as an international student you can check my video which will be in the description box so make sure you guys check on that the prices of groceries might also vary depending on the grocery store you get your groceries from. For example, there are grocery stores like Jabka, Bidronga, Lidl, etc. So if you get your things from Jabka, it's going to be expensive and it's not a student preferred or a student friendly kind of grocery store. So what I totally prefer is Bidronga and Lidl. They have everything what you need and pretty friendly pricing too. The next is dining outside. Dining outside as expected is expensive in Poland too because if you expect eating outside every single day then guys you're gonna be broke by the end of the month. So make sure you guys keep a track on that. On an average it would cost around 30 zloty per meal if you are planning to dine outside but again this might vary depending on what kind of cuisine you are planning to eat for example indian cuisine can be expensive mexican can be expensive chinese can be cheap polish food can be cheap but yeah depending on where you buy the polish food it varies so on an average expect around 30 slotties per week Transportation in Poland is something that I would love to talk about because guys, it's cheap and convenient at the same time. If you live in the city center, you wouldn't require a transportation card because everything is going to be close by like the university, the shopping malls, the groceries. In conclusion, everything is going to be like in walkable distance and you could just uh, go for the most commonly used mode of transportation which is nothing but walking. And if so, you live a bit far away from the university, no worries. You could go for the semester tickets, which would be around 50 slotties per month. And yeah, it would be really convenient for you to just use the student card when you travel around, uh, when you're using the tram or the bus. 
Now a popular question that might arise in your mind is if I'm not a frequent public transportation user then what if I require a ticket one day like maybe once in a week or once in a month what about that you could instantly buy tickets in an app called Yento Yade I have talked about it in one of my previous videos which is called as things to bring to Poland which will be available in the description box so make sure you guys check on that or else there are also options to buy tickets in the tram or the bus another type of transportation cost that you might require to worry about is when you're traveling like if you want to travel to other cities in Poland or another country like the neighboring countries you can use the train or the tram with 51 percentage discount but extremely sorry for people who are 26 years and above you will not be capable of getting this discount but yeah again people who are 25 years and below enjoy your traveling with a discount and this finally brings me to the last topic which is nothing but the fun activities fun activities varies depending on what kind of person you are for example if you are a very adventurous person maybe every week you might travel to different destinations or if you are a cafe or a foodie person you might go to restaurants with your friends and eat or if you're a clubbing person you might go clubbing which I think is cheap in Poland. I'm not sure because I haven't clubbed yet. Again, the pricing for these fun activities vary depending on the season. For example, if you want to travel during a special occasion like Christmas, Easter, things like that, the season is pretty high, so you might need to pay more than on an off season. Students travel both on off season and on season because during on season there is like a big break so that they can you know spend more time in different countries and during the off season is usually when it's a weekend or something like that people i mean students also travel during those days so yeah the traveling cost also varies depending on the destination and the season on an average my living cost would come around 920 slotties per month this will vary if i do some other sort of fun activities for example if i travel it would uh, go up to 1120 slotties uh, uh, you might be thinking why am i so approx because i just wrote it down you know i just calculated it but yeah guys this might totally vary but you would minimum require 800 slotty per month to live a good life the next kind of popular question a lot of people ask me is will i be able to cover my living costs by just doing part-time job in poland the answer to this question will be out soon in my channel so stay tuned for that but as of now i can say that with zero investment you can't live in poland you would require some investment for yourself like some balance in your bank account to live the initial few months in poland because you need time to find a job right so guys that's pretty much it for today's video i hope you guys found this informative if you found this informative don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and do comment down below if you have any other queries i will try answering those questions and if so you new to my channel don't forget to smash that subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you guys can get notified and also do follow my instagram page so that you guys can get a live update about things that you want to know until next time god bless